Here's how to install Windows 11 on a virtual machine on macOS using UTM, completely free. First, open your browser and search for UTM. Click the first result to go to the official website, then click the big download button to get the software. Wait a few seconds for the download to complete, then run the utm.dmg file. In the window that appears, drag UTM into the applications folder to install it. Once that's done, you can delete the installation file and eject the installer if you want. Now a UTM is installed, and the next step is to download the Windows 11 ISO file. There are two ways to do this. The fastest one, in my opinion, is by installing a free app called Crystal Fetch from the App Store. Just search for the app and download it. After installing, open it and configure your settings. Select Windows 11, choose the latest build, make sure you select Apple Silicon Architecture, then choose your language and the Windows 11 edition. When everything is ready, click download, accept the license terms, and wait a few minutes for the file to finish downloading. Once it's done, choose where to save your Windows 11 ISO file. I'll save mine on the desktop. If everything went correctly, you should now have an ISO file ready to use. If you prefer, you could also use the second method, open your browser and search for Windows 11 ARM download. Go to the official Microsoft website, choose your edition and your language, and then download the ISO file directly from the browser. In this video, I'll use the ISO file downloaded with Crystal Fetch. Now it's time to launch UTM. If a security message appears, simply click open. Click create a new virtual machine, then choose virtualize and select Windows from the list. At this point, you can configure the RAM for the virtual machine. I recommend at least 4 GB, but you can assign more if you'd like. Just be careful not to allocate too much. A good rule is to use about half of the RAM installed on your Mac. You can check this by clicking the Apple logo at the top left and selecting about this Mac. In my case, I have 16 GB, so I'll assign 8 GB to the VM. Leave the CPU core set to default and click Continue. Make sure that both install Windows 11 or higher and install drivers and spice tools are checked. Then click Browse and select the Windows 11 ISO file you downloaded earlier. Once selected, click Continue. Next, specify the storage size for the virtual machine. The default is 64 GB, which is fine for most uses, but you can increase it if you plan to store many files. Then click Continue a couple of times, review your settings, and finally click Save. To run the virtual machine, click the play button and wait a few seconds. You'll see a message telling you to press any key to boot from CD. If you don't press it in time, you'll get an error screen. Don't worry, it's easy to fix. Just shut down the virtual machine and restart it by clicking the play button again. This time, make sure to press any key to begin the Windows 11 installation. You can use the button in the top right corner to control the VM cursor and press Ctrl plus option to release the cursor back to macOS. Now continue with the installation. Select your language and click Next. On the next screen, click I don't have a product key. Choose whether you want the Home or Pro Edition and click Next. Accept the license terms and continue. After a few seconds, the virtual machine will reboot. This time, don't press any key when prompted, just wait and let the installation continue automatically. After a few minutes, proceed with the setup by choosing your language and keyboard layout. Then let the virtual machine reboot again. Don't click anything and wait for the installation to continue. Once restarted, create your Windows 11 username and password. 
then wait a little longer for updates to install. This may take several minutes depending on your internet connection. After that, the virtual machine will reboot automatically a couple more times. Just wait patiently until you see the Windows 11 welcome screen, and then you're finally in Windows 11. You should now see a prompt to install the UTM guest tools. If you don't, you can also open them manually by going to this PC and File Explorer. Open the guest tools media and run the installer. Follow the installation guide, and once it finishes, shut down the Windows 11 virtual machine. With the VM off, I recommend removing the installation media and the guest tools ISO file since they're no longer needed now that Windows is installed. Click the play button to start the VM again. You should now be able to switch to full screen and use it just like a real Windows PC. UTM also supports a shared clipboard. This means you can copy text from macOS and paste it into Windows 11 and vice versa. It works both ways and is very fast. Finally, let me show you how to transfer files between macOS and the Windows 11 virtual machine. First, shut down the VM. Then create a folder on macOS to use as a shared location. For example, I'll create one in downloads called Windows Shared Folder. Next, open the VM settings, go to the Sharing tab, select Spice Web DAV, and click Browse. Choose the folder you just created and click Save. Restart the VM and open File Explorer in Windows. Go to Network and enable Network Discovery and File Sharing. Now, under this PC, you'll find a drive called Network Drive. That corresponds to the shared folder you created on macOS. Don't delete the .spice clipboard folder you see there, just leave it as is. You can also pin the drive to the left sidebar for quicker access. As you can see, if I move any file into that folder, it will instantly sync with the VM and I can open it right away. The same works the other way, if I move a file into the network drive on Windows, it will appear immediately on macOS. Just a quick note. If you go into the settings, you'll see that Windows isn't activated. You can keep using it without problems, but some options, like personalization, won't be available. If you'd like to activate it but don't have a product key yet, I recommend visiting Mr. Key Shop, where you can find genuine Windows 11 licenses for less than half the usual price. I'll include an affiliate link in the video description, using it lets you support the channel at no extra cost. After you purchase a key, simply copy it, open the virtual machine, go to activate and then click on change product key. If you're not satisfied with the performance of UTM, you can check out my other tutorials on VMware Fusion and Parallels, which are great alternatives. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like for more tutorials.